All right, next one. Excuses for not keeping the dietary laws. 1 Timothy 4 and verse 4. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God in prayer. Now that word means sanctified. It means set apart by the word of God. All right. Where at in your Bible would you find a list of foods set apart in the Word of God? What's well, the dietary laws? It's Leviticus 11. It's where God separates clean from unclean. Listen, if you're praying over monkey brains, blood clams, and the African bullfrog, it's not going to do you a bit of good. If you, oh Lord, I thank you for these monkey brains. Boy, they sure are going to be good. No, no, it's not, that's not how it works. It's saying you should know the meats that God created to be received with thanks. You shouldn't be in ignorance. You shouldn't live your life in ignorance. You should know the meats that God created to be received with thanksgiving is what the Bible is saying. Now listen, Jesus Christ is the God of the Old Testament. He's the one that gave us the dietary laws. And this is what your Bible says about Jesus Christ. Hebrews 13 and verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. You know, many of you worship a Jesus that changes every time you walk through the doors of the church. Oh boy, another law has been abolished. Oh, I'm grateful. I oh, I'm thankful I don't have to do that. Oh, I'm thankful I don't have to keep that. Oh man, I'm grateful. I don't, I'm grateful I don't have to do a thing that's written in the Bible, the Word of God. Yeah, you're, you're, you, you worship a Jesus often that is changing constantly. And you ask your preacher, and he's going to, oh, you don't have to do that. That's for somebody else. That's for the Jews. That's for Israel. That's old covenant. It's not for us. It's for somebody else. That's what you're going to hear. So God in his mercy gave us laws. He gave us dietary laws to keep us healthy. How concerned are you about your health? You know, when you're, you may feel good now, but when you get sick, you are deeply concerned about your health, and God is deeply concerned about your health, and he gives us a way, he gives us laws that are all about health, the dietary laws. He gives us sexual laws to keep us moral and upright. He gives us racial laws to keep us pure. He gives us economic laws to keep us free from bondage. And only a fool would say, well, none of that's important. Those laws have been abolished and done away with. Yeah, and I hate to say it, that's often what you hear in church and coming from preachers. Yep, well, I'm David Freeman, and that's what's really in your Bible.